It's hot, and I can't make this update be, like, too long. So, why don't we get started? This is Mega Man NG. I welcome you all to the mid-month update for June 18th, 2018. Here's what I am going to say. Yeah, right now, as of now, the weather's gotten really hot. Meaning that I will have to, like, get my video scheduled and everything. And, yeah, it's going to be a bit rough. But I want to at least get this update out of the way before anything else. So here's what's been going on for the month of June, and there's been a lot. For starters, we did finish Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, and I mean the Legend Mode. I may go back to do the Adventure Mode, because I haven't even touched that yet, but there's still so much for me I have to do in this game that it's nuts. It absolutely is. Not to mention I actually had to buy three $20 eShop cards to get Mario Tennis Aces. I'm buying it digitally because, well, the file size is like 1.8 gigabytes. Amazing, ain't it? A $60 game which gives it like that short. What can you do? We also started Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. And 358 over two days, surprisingly, has been doing okay. Although, to the one person that has to download almost every video relating it to it, come on. I can understand that you don't like the game, but please don't do it just because I'm covering the game. The only reason why I'm doing it is all part of the road to Kingdom Hearts 3. And there's only like two Kingdom Hearts games I need to do. This and Recoded. Once both are done, that's it. Then we can get ourselves ready for Kingdom Hearts 3 when it comes out in January. And yes, I've already pre-ordered Kingdom Hearts 3, so I look forward to playing it when it comes out day one. I also started Hollow Knight, which, surprisingly enough, it came out around E3. And I will say right here, I've already spent like over six hours playing the game so far, and it's good. Sure, there are some instances where the game can be ridiculously difficult... But I enjoy it all the way, and it's been rather satisfying. You guys are going to be seeing more Hollow Knight from me as the days go on, until at I at least beat it. And once I beat it, then you can tell that another game done. I also decided to start Octopath Traveler. Now, here's the thing. Octopath Traveler came out with a prologue demo that lets you enjoy the game for the first three hours. The good thing about this is that your save file for it is transferred over to the full game, meaning that... Once you cover at least a good amount, you can continue it when the full game releases next month where you left off. The first three parts are already out, and I've been getting a lot of good positive reception from it. Not much, but you can get the idea. I really love this game. It really is that good, and I'm reminded of Bravely Default. Yep, I play Bravely Default, and this gives me a good reminder of it. The only difference is that it's all in 2D. And, I mean, the presentation, for what it's worth, it's amazing. I love it a lot, and it's just that good, too. I like it big time. So, yeah, the first three parts are now up. I will be continuing Octopath Traveler in July. And what's to come for the rest of June will be more 358 over two days, more Hollow Knight, Mario Tennis Aces, which I will be starting third, I mean, around midnight Friday. And I will also be doing the Crash Insane Trilogy, which is coming out next week. Yes, if you guys remember, I did a PS4 stream of the first three Crash games. And now, yeah, it's now coming to the Switch, and it means one thing. I'm going to be doing a full playthrough of all three Crash games. Watch as torture and rage become the one norm that is here on this channel. Now, if only things could actually get better, because things sadly have not been. I don't know why, but I'll be talking about that in a minute. Now for a bit of real talk. And this is a real talk that's been bugging me for some time. Depression. The only reason why I'm talking about this is because of a recent thing that's been going on right now. I'd rather mention it, but I'll be posting it in the description. But if you want to know, yeah, depression's been happening a lot. Not me, though. Even though I do suffer from depression, I am going through things one day at a time. I still am going because it's not going to stop me one bit. Not only that, but recently a YouTuber, and I may as well just say it, a YouTuber named Darkside Phil decided to have a hate live stream where he talked about depression, and I felt that his way of how he did it was absolutely pathetic. Saying that depression's an illness and he did it just to pity people, just so he can get more bits, tips, and cheers, and donations, and that's absolutely stupid. And I mean, looking at it, it just made me feel really angry. It made me feel really angry because as someone who suffers from depression, this guy knows absolutely nothing. He knows nothing about depression and how we people have to go through it every day. He knows absolutely nothing. You want to know what the really sucky thing about all this? Is that this guy is just like 
ugh, I don't want to talk about this, but I have to anyway, because depression affects everyone. It doesn't matter who or what it is. Everyone, one way or another, can be affected. It isn't something that just go, that can't go away. It's something that latches on to you and holds you down for a while and drives you down to a negative, like a darkness that won't let you escape. But yeah, the way how he did it was just messed up. And the fact that he decided to ban a Twitch, or rather a Twitch viewer, because the fact was he thought he was trolling and he was suffering from depression himself. So before I do this, and I mentioned it already when I was streaming on Twitch today, that yeah, if for whatever reason you suffer from depression and you need somebody to talk to, I'm here. I'm always here. I'm always open. If you have something to tell me, feel free to. Because let's be honest, if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. I have plenty of people to talk to whenever I'm in down the dumps. So I open up to anyone who is suffering from depression yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say it here. If you have any problems or anything with your real life, talk to me. I'm always open, and unlike other people, like other people, like DSP, I will listen. I will listen. I won't be all disrespectful and like. I will listen to what you say, and more importantly, I'll make sure everything is okay. That to me is the most important thing of all. I want to do what I can to help people, like many of my friends have helped me, even during my low points in my life. So yeah, it's sort of a way I wanted to give back. But hey, I could be wrong about that. Yeah, it's not much, but also you notice that things on YouTube are not going so great. I mean, recently they had like a subscriber purge, and I've been struggling to reach 33,000 subscribers. Even when I'm getting more subscribers, YouTube's like, nope, you're not going to reach that far, take it away, and it became an issue. That's why the later months I haven't been doing that great. But I don't think it really matters to me. I'm just going to keep going regardless and see where it all brings. I'm still hoping to find a job, and when I do, I can pretty much make this a hobby again. Not to mention, I'm also setting up a kind of a fundraiser. A fundraiser to raise money to get a new iMac. Last year, I had something like that for my new laptop. And I now have a new laptop that I've been taking care of ever since. I've been taking care of this laptop every single day. Always checking for updates, updating virus definitions, you name it. The only thing I need to do now is pay for the extended warranty, as well as a one-year subscription to Norton Antivirus. Once I have that, then I'm pretty much set for the next three years, and I don't have to worry. And then I can put my focus on hopefully getting a new iMac. And once I do get a new iMac, yeah, I can kiss this old one goodbye because I've had this one for eight to nine years. That's what my fundraiser is for, but it isn't mandatory. If you feel like you want to help out, I will be posting a link in the description where you can pitch in. It doesn't really matter how much. I just want to at least do what I can and build up over time. So maybe by the holidays or Black Friday, I can get a new iMac and I can be good to go. Yeah, not much, but right now it's really hot. And I do apologize if this update is not up to par. It's just that the weather's gotten blissfully hot. Not to mention my iMac had some recent issues. It haven't had much before, but now recently this. And, and it kind of got me worried. So I'm hoping that I can take things nice and slow. Things will get better, hopefully. And once July kicks in with Octopath Traveler... I will also try my luck to doing the Mega Man Anniversary Collection games so I can gear up for Mega Man 11. And when I get the X Collection, expect those as well. So that's going to be it for this mid-month update. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and more importantly, click on the bell. Doing all of this helps me out big time. This is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out.